I haven't had one from the front of the boat yet. Here, clip this on up in front of you. No. Uh, what? It's going to be the first time Michigan hasn't lost to Ohio State in like 23 years, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's 15 years. Yeah. Well, the problem is they might play in the spring. And that'll be Michigan's best chance to win in a long time. Why is that? Because all the really good players aren't going to play in the spring. Because they all, it's too close to the pro season. Oh. Like they don't want to get hurt and then not get drafted. Whereas if you get hurt in the fall, you can heal, be fine. That makes sense. So, I mean, the better your team is, the more that's going to hurt your team. side of the boat or the uh Here are the tubes. Yeah. You feel free to turn the camera around if you want. At me? Huh? At me? Oh, that's what I thought you were doing already. Oh no, it's facing forward. A lot of blue tubes. No, it is a tube, but I know. I took later in the day, so there's not as many, which means we'll probably come up on a bunch of tubes. We can stay over here. Stay over here and then turn. 
Oh, you're just shallow in that area. Big rock straight ahead. Yeah. Straight ahead or to our left? Straight ahead. Like way up there? Not too, I mean, pretty close. Past the tube? No, no. It's getting very really close. Go to the right. Yeah, I, I see that one. Okay. Because okay. it's not straight in front of us. Yeah. Okay. covered bridge in a really long time. Going for a job, but we need to go to the left. left. Well, it just it looks like it's pretty shallow. Uh, probably just. Okay, I'm going to switch sides. I don't care what side you're on, as long as you're just going to go back and forth. Yeah. I think that's what's nice about the kayak, is it's more balanced. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're doing it right, you can switch sides. Yeah. You know, if your left side gets tired, switch to the right. Like yeah. You just don't have to think about it as much. Have you done some kayaking? Yeah. Getting right. 
right now. Can you feel it? I'm not, I'm not touching the bottom. What I mean is, like, sometimes the boat doesn't just go straight. Like, even the boat's oh, I one see way, what it, it, it floats to the right or the left. Yeah. That seems like a rough area to tube through. Yeah. Well, I think the thing with the tubes is that, like, you just kind of go where the water takes you. Yeah, I guess you don't have the tubes. Is it getting shallower over there? In the middle? Yeah. two rocks. You see those two rocks? Nope. Um, it's like a slalom course. The first one's on this side, the next one's on that one. Okay. I think we're going to go through it. So kind of, if we go... Oh, like way up there on the left side of the river? Yeah. You want to go to the left of the first rock and the right of the second? Yeah. Okay. I think it's deeper over there. I feel like it's going to be shallow across the middle. I'm not sure. Oh, I agree. I think we have to get over there. Maybe we just go straight. Actually, let's go straight. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think so. Hang on. I'm gonna get up in the sea for a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna be like less stable. Uh, we got a rock. Another big one. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Next time, say left or right. Okay. Because if you just say there's a rock, I'm not going to know. True, true. Being in the front is stressful. Sorry. <laughs> Being in the back, you have to do something about it. Yeah. I can't see better sitting up here. Is that another rock right yeah, there? Yeah, I see it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Worst case, we end up in the water. Yeah. I'd rather not. I mean, at least you can stand up here. That's true. When we fell in in the dam, you couldn't touch. Wait, did you put your life jackets on to go over the dam? No, but I mentioned on the video. Did you not watch the video? I didn't see that part. Uh -uh. Oh. I did mention, like, right before we were going over the dam, like, maybe we should have put our life jackets on. <laughs> Beer? Uh, yeah. That's true. It felt kind of good. Yeah. Sometimes I kind of sit in the water anyway at one point. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Like if it's hot out, but you're wearing wet clothes. Yeah. Uh, I guess I get super hot. I like soak my my shirt, and then it dries off, and then I put like keeps it cool. Yeah. Especially if you do it before you get hot. Yeah. That's a big set of stairs. Yeah, I work with your 
neighbors better there. Huh? You got to work with your neighbors better there. Yeah, no kidding. It's a lot of painting. long trick this canoe has done and it's been in the water a few other times. One of the times was prototyping Adam's weed eater motor. <laughs> Did that, is it back for uh, modifications? Yeah, he got a propeller that spins the wrong way. Okay. So we had to put it in the water like so it pulled us instead of pushed us. It still worked. But then he got the proper type of propeller but then it's just the motor wouldn't start. So Build something with like one of those 60 amp tool batteries? Uh, yeah, actually. Or 60 volt tool, bat tool batteries? I did come across a guy on YouTube recently that was using just a, a battery drill. Okay. Like a battery drill and a long, like a, like a long bar uh -huh. with a prop on it. And that seemed to work pretty good. I think any of those battery tools would work pretty good. You just, you know, obviously, you gotta do with batteries and fuel. Yeah. Then you can't crash, I guess. What do you mean? Probably don't want to get that battery wet. Yeah, you also don't really want to get it wet. Yeah. Or if you're like at mile 20 of 22 and you're just done. Right. Although it's probably unlikely that it would still be alive. You know what? The battery would probably have died. Yeah. Unless it's gas. Either way, you would have extended your range. So. Yeah. Especially if you're able to get deep speed. So the thing is, when we prototyped this thing, we weren't really going faster than paddling. Um, we didn't use it a ton, but uh, it did better once we were up to speed. It didn't do real great at getting up to speed, but it didn't have, any, it didn't have a, it a low end torque. Because it could never get into the power band, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. But, people that were on the river were really impressed when he pulled it out of the boat and pulled the ripcord on it. <laughs> That's their only choice, right?
Taco. Taco Bell, right here. Come uh, on. Come on. No, oh, thank you. This <laughs> month going in the river. Uh, <laughs> There's one tube and then there's a big traffic jam. Oh, 